I heard this story this morning on the news. So after I got up and got dressed, I immediately went to my computer and researched it by Googling the story. Uh, a couple days ago, a couple from Great Britain was detained by Homeland Security at Los Angeles International Airport. Apparently this young man, this was a lady and a man that were traveling together, apparently the young man had twittered that he was going to destroy America. Uh, in Britain, destroy America means come here and get blitzed, get drunk, party. In other words, he's going to pout, paint the town red. Okay, he's going he's gonna to tie one on the whole time he's here. Well, Homeland Security didn't think that was funny, so they detained him. And there's a big news story about it. And I'm going to leave a link down below in the link area. This is not the first time this had happened. Uh, there is a friend of mine who lives in Australia that had the exact same thing happen to him in Detroit, Michigan a couple years ago. And we all know him here as Dr. Lemur. And he was detained by Homeland Security after a, I guess, 24-hour plane ride from Australia into Detroit. And uh, I think what threw off Homeland Security in, in his case was he was entering the United States in Detroit, but his first stop, I believe, in the United States was just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And that made them a little suspicious, and they detained him. Um, are we being threatened by Australia and England? No. No, we are not. Those countries are friends with us. And I believe our authorities here are being very sensitive about it. Now, being sensitive is a good thing. But you have to follow it out. In other words, I think Dr. Lemur should have been allowed into the United States. And probably the same with this guy and this girl. But they kind of just stopped. They're like, oh, okay, we found some stuff on you. You can't come in. And never followed the thing out as far as possible. It's not a whole lot of fun when you pay a whole lot of money. You're, you're ready for a great vacation. And then you're stopped at the border. And then you're detained. And you probably have no sleep. He's been on a plane for X amount of hours. And then you're turned around and sent back home. Yeah, I'd be a little upset too if that happened to me in a foreign country. But uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Uh, these are the only two cases that I know of. One was just the other day. And uh, that's what prompted me to... Uh, do this video. Um, if you look into the, if you click on the links in the show notes, uh, you'll be taken to the actual stories about what happened to these people. Uh, one was, uh, the one that just happened, uh, it's a news story, so I'm not sure how long the link will be there. But uh, about Dr. Lehmer, there's actually two links there. 
Uh, one was a YouTube video that Dr. Lemur did himself. And the other is a documentary that was done by um, uh, a place out in Australia. The, somebody, they do think called Australian Story, which I guess is a little bit like 2020 is here in the United States. And uh, it's, a, it's a very good, very good documentary. So uh, let's take a look at this. I take some time to take a look at them. But the main thing is if you are traveling abroad because of the tightness of Homeland Security, and this could be true in other countries also, be very careful what you say and be very careful what you post online because I think these were innocent people. I think they were uh, just little things. They never thought about what was going to happen and look what happened. I mean, I'm sure the gentleman, the lady, and Dr. Lamer all want to come to the United States at some point. And as it stands right now, they can't. I hope someday that they can. Because uh, want to see them enjoy the United States just like we do. So let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for listening. Bye.